Hello and welcome to the open source Altium library. In this video, we're going to walk through the process of installing the library on your computer. Installing the Celestial library will allow you to utilize the vast quantity of free components to save time on your future projects. Before we get started with the registration and installation, I want to quickly show you the troubleshooting guide. You can find it by going to get started, then troubleshooting on the altiumlibrary.com website. The number one problem new users face is a missing driver for the database. You will see this error, which tells you you need Microsoft Access. You do not need to install Microsoft Access or any other Microsoft Office application to utilize this database. The error Altium displays is incorrect. Instead, you will need to download and install the Microsoft SQL Server native client drivers. If you're using a version of Altium prior to Designer 18, you will need to install the 32-bit version. If you have trouble following this guide, need further support, or just want some fellow geeks to hang out with, you can click the chat button at the bottom of the website to join us on Discord. We have a fantastic community of students, makers, and engineers, so don't be afraid to come and say hi. Okay, let's get on with installing the library. First, we're going to create a library portal account. At the top of the Altium library website, click Login or Register. Both links go to the same place. Enter your details, then click Register. You should receive a confirmation email quite quickly. If the confirmation email has not arrived after a couple of minutes, register again using the same email address. This will resend the confirmation email. Be sure to check your spam folder if you still can't find the email or join us on Discord to have your account manually activated. It looks like the library confirmation email has come through to my promotions folder. Click the confirm button to confirm your email is valid. This will take you to the library portal and log you in. Before we continue with the library portal, however, we're going to download the files you need to use the library. The best option for keeping your library files up to date is to install GitHub Desktop. The library files are hosted on GitHub. Using GitHub Desktop allows you to quickly update your local folder to contain the most recent footprints and symbols. Once GitHub Desktop is installed, you can log in with your GitHub account or click skip if you do not have one. You'll just need to set a name and email address for Git to use. You can now visit the Altium library repository to collect the download URL and add the new repository with GitHub Desktop. I suggest saving the library into a root folder of a drive as it makes it easier to find in the future. To update the library files within GitHub Desktop, click Repository, then Pull to pull the latest files to your computer. While the library is cloning, you can head back to the management portal to create a user login. Go to Server Logins, then Add New. Select the Altium Library database, as the Altium legacy is only useful to people who have been using the library for years and have old projects based on version 1 of the database. This will automatically generate a username and password for you. Click the dblib button to download your personalized database library files. You will need to move this file into the same folder you cloned the database to. To check your database connection, open the dblib file you just downloaded. We should see the error I mentioned earlier, as this is a freshly installed virtual machine. Excellent! There's the connection error. Head to the troubleshooting page on the altiumlibrary.com and download the driver for the version of Altium you use. If you needed to install the driver, you can click the connect button to try again once it is installed. Once a successful connection has been made, you will see all the views on the left hand side. Now we have a successful database connection, you'll need to install the library within Altium so you can access it from any project. To do this, click the menu button on the components panel and click file-based library preferences. Now go to the installed tab and then click install. Change the file type filter to dblib and then select the dblib file you downloaded earlier. Once you click close, library views will be visible in the components panel from any project. You have now successfully registered for library access, cloned the files, and installed the library. You should regularly download a new dblib around once a week and pull updates from the repository with GitHub Desktop. This will ensure you always have the latest components available. Using the Celestial Altium library will save time on your future projects. Don't forget to join the Discord server to become part of the community.